One of the great challenges of today is that we often feel untouched by the problems of others and by global issues like climate change. Even when we could easily do something to help. Giving people access to data most often leaves them feeling overwhelmed and disconnected. And this is where art can make a difference. Art does not show people what to do, yet engaging them with a good work of art can connect you to your senses. In the latest, climate protesters threw mashed potatoes at the Claude Monet Grand Stacks painting in a German museum. The activists who belong to the last generation group were protesting against fossil fuel extraction. And after throwing the mashed potatoes, they glued their hands to the wall. The Monet painting is not the only piece of artwork which has been targeted in recent times. In the UK, climate activists belonging to Just Stop Oil smeared chocolate cake over a waxwork model of Britain's King Charles at London's Madame Tussauds Museum. The demonstrators were demanding that the government should halt all new oil and gas licenses and consent. Well, over the past few weeks, the group Just Stop Oil has also targeted various pieces of art. Two activists from the group threw soup over Vincent van Gogh's painting named Sunflowers. And this was at London's National Gallery. Moreover, in June, two activists glued themselves to the frame of one painting, Peach Trees in Blossom, another Van Gogh work. This was at the Court Hall Gallery in London. Over 40 new fossil fuel projects. And with every single project they sign, it is like signing our death warrant. While in July, members of the group glued their hands to a frame holding a copy of Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper at London's Royal Academy of Art and even to the frame of a J.M.W. Turner painting at the Manchester Art Gallery. In addition to all these, in Australia as well, two Extinction Rebellion activists glued their hands to a Pablo Picasso painting in Melbourne. The activists wanted to convey the connection between the consequences of climate change and human suffering. They stood with their hands stuck to the protective covering of Picasso's massacre in Korea, with the banner reading, Climate Chaos Equals to War Plus Famine, on the floor in front of them at the National Gallery of Victoria. <laughs> 